All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Glacial Gardens. In this episode, we are going to be doing a leopard seal exhibit. Uh, I've already got the space picked out. Uh, it's gonna be in this corner here. I'm thinking a fairly large exhibit, uh, but we'll see. I'm not exactly sure how much space I think I'll need. Um, but let's just get started. Uh, maybe I'll lay it out with, no, I'll just go ahead and start. Start with the back, um, something like that, 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 uh, yeah, mm. yeah, I think that'll work for what I got in mind. Um, start with making it all land, and then we'll play around with the train in a second. Not worried about that yet. Um, I think I'm gonna start by doing an observation area first. Let's go over here. And what I'm thinking is doing like an observation deck pretty much all the way around. Um, and then have down here have certain uh, two or three viewing areas. Do I wanna use, do I wanna do this? No, not that. I don't know if I want that either. Yeah, I think I'll just go with that. Okay, and then we're gonna need the path to get up. Which can go something like um, Something like that, maybe. Let's see how that looks in a second. I want to get some railings. Uh, I want to fix that in a second, make that look a little better. Unless I think it looks okay right now, which, mm, not really. I don't know what else I could do though. Oh, I know what I can try and do, hold on. Um, let's get this back. this. Um, it's a little bit lighter. There's something darker, some darker wood. It's too dark. It's also pretty dark, uh, but it's that's closer, so I'll go with that. Okay, um, so that's good. Now, Going to let's see. These are three high, right? Yeah. So let's go with do I want that. Or do I want this? I want that. 
Okay, so we'll go across there. There and there, and I gotta do this though. I get my railings back. So I find the right one. Yes. Okay. That looks good. Definitely has the look that I want. Excellent. Okay. Now we can worry about the actual exhibit. So, certainly going to need a lot of water. I think I want the deep water to be um, over here. I'm not going to do an underwater viewing area in this exhibit. Um, just don't feel like doing that. I feel like every seal exhibit generally does that. I'm just going to try something a little different. Alright, that'll work. Uh, not those rocks. I want... All right, um, plants, I don't think I need any plants. Food, what options do we have for food? Some shrimp. Okay. Try some fish on land as well. put something like this. I don't know if I like the way that looks though. I don't think it's really what I'm going for. Maybe. Just put it there for now. No. Give them a ball and some fish. Okay, so that's good. Um, what else? What else do we need? Let's get a gate while we're while we're thinking about it. me. 
Okay. Let's see. Um, now, go over here to do this. Polar ice is what I'm looking for. Oops. Get that back. Um, I think it's in shelters. Yep. All right. Um, do we have anything else in there? I think that's pretty much it. Could put some plants, but I don't feel like that even fits. So I'm not going to. Alright, so I'll add a few. Let's do a couple females. And maybe a couple males. Yeah, they're pretty big, so I think four is probably fine for this exhibit. Now I'm going to connect this over here and add a few things like donation boxes and benches and such. All right, so we got everything finished. Um, here's the uh, elevator platform. I changed the, uh, the ramp a little bit to get up there. Uh, connected the path all through here. Added this fountain. So let's go down and take a look what it's going to be uh, like in guest mode. Alright, so uh, I'll probably put an exhibit in this space right here, considering I have more room than I thought I did. Um, and then there's I have pine trees lining the path here. There's the uh, ramp over here if I want to go out there. First we'll go inside. Donation box. Get a good view of the seals from here. There's one up on the... Uh, ice platform. They're all in a shelter as well. That one looks a little stuck. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go in here for a second. This is what it's like underwater. Um, looks a little cramped, but these rocks don't actually have hitboxes, so they can get around easily and seem to have plenty of room. Let's go check out the observation deck now. It's a pretty cool frozen fountain. Kind of seems a little weird that there's it's frozen yet there's actually water flowing. I almost feel like the water should be like ice and not moving, but whatever. Yeah, I like this. This looks good. I like I I purposely left this. Uh, glass at the bottom so that even if it's you know, it's hard to see from up over the uh, the railing you can see underneath it uh, seems like a good idea plus if you had if there's like kids up here they'd be able to you know crouch down and look through there it'd be kind of cool so but it'd be safe still so I like how that turned out uh, it's got some white trees here um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that exhibit. I know I don't want the map. Uh, I'm gonna get a, hire a zookeeper to uh, keep an eye on their seals. Yep. And that's pretty much it for this episode, I think. 
Uh, it's going to be on the shorter side, uh, but I don't have a lot of time right now to record. So um, in the next one, we'll fill this area here uh, and then probably put something else over here or over here. Um, I think I'll put another small animal here. I'm thinking maybe the snowy owl uh, in a little uh, indoor aviary type thing over here I still plan to put the penguins here uh, and then I got space over here for several more exhibits we're getting close to being done so unfortunately it is a small zoo but like I said before it's easier to do the smaller zoos for me uh, both because it's I don't have to deal with potential like lag as the zoo gets larger or um, potential crashes and things like that if I keep the zoo small uh, and then I can finish them also a lot. Because sometimes if I do a big zoo, I don't want to get to the point where I don't finish it. I'd rather finish several smaller zoos than have several larger zoos that are half finished and never get done. So that's just my personal preference. Um, and I'm pretty much going to stick to that. Maybe I'll, I did do a medium zoo once, as far as map size goes, uh, when I did the last prehistoric zoo. It's, I mean, it's a good chance I'll do something like that again, but as far as doing a large map, I don't see it happening. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys all in the next one, and thanks for watching.